as they start trying to untie it trying to untie i was just seeing blood of jesus no no goes hey madam during intercourse do you come mind you in this pregnancy i had seen things i had peed blood at some point if god i will go for thanksgiving i will save it for the rest of my life i was so worried worried for my life worried for my baby <laughs> My tribe, my whole group are praying. There's no how God was going to say no to us. The woman looked and she said, Blood of Jesus. They gave me nothing less than 10 stitches. At some at that point, my BP was low. I didn't have high BP. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your favorite girl, Enki on Theater. And as usual, I bring you the unfiltered G's, the unfiltered every single thing. Guys, from the topic you should know what you're talking about today my birth story hmm my birth story guys second time will be easier be no more my first time was easier than my second time i don't know like the story is heart-wrenching painful i have tried to do this video a lot of times for my instagram for my youtube and every time i end up crying sobbing wailing in fact this is going almost five months postpartum and I still find it very emotional that I had to go through that. I still say, why do I ha why did I have to go through that? Why did it have to happen to me like this? But I know that God is the author and finisher of everything and he knows best. But today I'm going to bring you the full unfiltered gist of what happened during labor. Guys, stay tuned if this is a story you would love to hear because I promise you it is so emotional, but at least we are great to come out to the miracle. Stay tuned and see you guys. If you Stay tuned. But if you're new here, my name is MK on Theater. I am a YouTuber based in Abuja FC in Nigeria. I am a mom, a content creator, a wife, a lawyer. I'm a wife, a lawyer, and everything in between. In fact, I'm a hard worker. I work hard. <laughs> Guys, thank you for stopping by. Like this video, comment, share it, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Okay? I'll be right back. hi guys welcome back so let's just dive right into it so i i i took in sometime in june and i was pregnant till like february i was meant to give birth the exact date that i was given for delivery was february 12th and not honest i did not want to give birth on february 14th i did not want the valentine baby i did not want the valentine baby i like to celebrate my sins separately i like valentine come do valentine New Year come do New Year, Christmas come do Christmas, October first come do October first. I did not want a Valentine baby, in all honesty. However, God had other plans because yes, I had my baby on February fourteenth. But let's let's little backstory. So by February, I was already tired. If you have been pregnant before, you should know that by the ninth month you are tired. You have been there. You have been there, done that. You want to just get this over with. So I was already at that point. I tried everything to get this baby out. I, they said I should exercise. So I should walk. They so said I should do well sit. They we should even use it sexually. I tried all that. They said we should use breast pump, stimulate the nipple. I did that. Increase your oxytocin level. I did that. I did every single thing to induce labor. But it wasn't happening. In fact, there was a day on, I think, February 8th or February 10th, I saw like some kind of mucus discharge. I thought it was my mucus plug. I was dancing and elated to my doctor. Oh, my mucus plug is out. Akoko, story. <laughs> it was not out my mucus plus was not out this was it was just discharge on its own so we're just going i still having contraction mild contraction from february 11th well i was a very mild contraction very mild contraction i went to antenatal and the doctor told me if by tomorrow labor does not progress well come back and we'll do a membrane sweep a membrane sweep I said okay and you know membrane sweep this is very painful so by 12th of february nothing yet doctor just let us just watching it how are you feeling i was having diarrhea i was weak i was all that signs of labor right but they said just keep watching it keep watching it my mom was already coming it was coming into abuja on the 12th of february she came in 12th of february and the dot so she came in but she went to my sister's house again with my sisters before we now dive into a mover proper by february 13th doctor already told me okay you know what come today this morning let us do a membrane sweep let us now take it from there so i got to the hospital by let's say 10 
I got to the hospital, we carry, I carried my whole bag. Like, I carried my whole bag. I did a whole video about that. I'll put some clips of the videos I did. So, before I gave the hospital, they said I should eat. I ate. They gave me time. I waited. I was my husband. So, they said, okay, membrane sweep. I went in. Doctor was there. My doctor is such a sweet soul. Doctor Hailey, I love you so much. Thank you so much. You're awesome. You did an amazing job. <sighs> I got in time to do the sweep. As I was about to do the sweep, there was a man just standing there close to my husband inside the ward. He just told me, What are you doing there? Are you is your husband? Is your wife? And you're there looking at somebody's vagina. Da, 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 shouted. Because my husband said he thought he was another doctor or an attendant or something. He didn't know it was just a patient. He said, the man was just there looking at me, looking at them, trying to do the membrane sweep. My leg was wide open. <laughs> it's time for the membrane sweep. <clears throat> Thinking, hold on, hold on. I was already shouting, I was holding the bed. I was saying, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. He just put his hand inside and just, I screamed. Hey, God, I screamed. I screamed. Nothing is painful. Just did the membrane sweep. Okay. I pain. I had this pain. It was around, that happened around 2 3. I said, Okay, are we done? He said, We are done. I said, Okay. In pain. I, the pain had reduced because it was just one time, one time pain. Instead of going back home, I said to go with my sister, my other sister, Onyinye, who was in the hospital at that day. I said, okay, let me go back to your house. That's my hospital. Let me go back with her. So in case of anything, I can just come straight to the hospital. So my husband said, okay, and he, he was going home. I was going to the office. I got to Onyinye's house. I got to Onyinye's house. We were, we were everything was four. Around five, I started having contraction. My contraction was coming every 10, 10 minutes, 20, 20 minutes, and lasting for like 20 seconds, 10 seconds, just it was irregular, but it was coming from 5, 6. I was having contra good contraction. Before I knew it, I was having contraction like I was contracting for I was every 3 minutes, every 5 minutes, and it was, it was, la it was lasting for 3, for I'm confused. The like, contraction was coming every 5, 5 minutes, lasting for 50 seconds, yes, 50 seconds, 60 seconds. That was how I was having good contraction. I like it was, that was good contraction. So I was telling my mom, oh, see, mom was like, I ain't getting in labor. But the way my stomach, she didn't want to say it out loud, but in her mind, she was like, this is my stomach. She doesn't, doesn't look right. Doesn't look right. I was having contraction. I was in pain. It was coming regularly at, uh, around seven. And you said, oh, you know what? Let's go to the hospital. I had the quick bath. We are going to head for the hospital. So I got to the hospital, doctor. I told doctor, okay, see, I am in labor. I am in proper labor. He said, okay, you're in labor. Okay, let us check you. As they were checking me, the game was like zero cm. The mucus plug is not even out yet. <laughs> hey, God. I say, eh. I say, yeah, the mucus plug is not, it's not out. It's still intact. Hey, God. I said, what is all this thing done? But I'm having good contraction. What is all this one? I'm not going to say, okay, let me check. Let me just check something. He didn't tell me. What he was doing, he just let me just check him and just check. My guy put his hand and just wow, I felt some of the most intense pains I have felt in a while. I scream, but I had blood, um, creamy discharge, blah blah blah. Then the main pain <laughs> that was when I flung my phone. <laughs> the main pain started. <laughs> I went into the liberal ward, they gave me my bed. I was there. I was having contraction, good contract, but I was not dilating. I was not dilating. I was on zero cm. I was so worried. I cried. I was worried. I was scared. I was like, why? It's not even different. Why am I having this, this type of contraction? This kind of pain, and it is not progressing. What could be wrong? They put a they put a monitor on my stomach to monitor baby's heartbeat. If I knew it, baby's heartbeat was fluctuating. Go up, go down, go up, go down. It was fluctuating seriously. You were reasoning to go for cesarean oppression. Now, I didn't have any problem with that cesarean. I was just telling God, why do I have to test it all? Am I different? I've done the vagina delivery before. Why do I have to do cesarean operation too? But I was just worried and worried about my baby. The doctor came, he put oxygen in my nose, said this for the baby, to help the baby, sustain the baby. <laughs> See, eh? that's when you know that the mother's love is stronger than any single thing. See, in all the pain I was, in all the pain I was going through, my main concern was that baby. Is my baby getting enough oxygen? No matter all the drama I was acting, the, you see that oxygen they put in my nose. I no come out. <laughs> it remained in my nose. I had to use that oxygen from that time around nine. They gave me oxygen around nine. I was without oxygen from nine to when I had my baby. 
I don't want to cry, so let me breathe. So the heartbeat was fluctuating. I was like, God, please protect my baby. Nothing happened to my baby. That was like the scariest part. I was like, will I go to nine, nine months? And my nine months, my nine months is not easy. Will I go to this nine months and then I won't have my baby. I won't have my bundle of joy. I was so worried. I was so scared. Like, I was almost heartbroken because, like, what do I have to do? What have I done wrong? What is my offense? Why is my own different? My sister will come in to stay with me to help me, and I'll be crying, I'll be begging her. I was singing, I was crying. I see all the most songs. <laughs> I sang all of them. She was playing both songs for me. I was begging God, oh, why is it again for me? I cried. I begged him because I was in intense pain, but giving birth was not in me i was not seeing it the doctor walks up to me and tells me nk if i check you in the next one hour and you have not dilated we would bill you in for a cesarean operation my god i said god no now why me please don't do this to me i just want to do it and get stuff out of it i don't want to have to go through the stress of cesarean operation through the stress of healing i want to do this and just get it done with my husband came to me, baby, just whatever they say, we just do just take, uh, just be strong, hold on, don't worry, just be praying. I kept on praying. I said, Mother Mary, would you be and this thing will happen to me? Help me. In all these things, I had my oxygen. In all the tossing and kicking and pulling, I had my oxygen. But the woman close to me, she wasn't crying, she was like, mm, mm. I was like, it's not the same label. Why is how like this? Little did I know that this woman was going through a miscarriage. It was not living, it wasn't child, it was miscarriage. She was losing her pregnancy. Oh my God. You know, you don't know what the other person is going through and you'll be wishing that you're like that person. I was wishing that, oh my God, can my own be less painful like this person's own? She's not even going through pain. Why is my own this painful? I said I was not going to cry. <laughs> It was like 11. Doctor came. I cry, ugly cry. <laughs> the doctor came and he checked. I was like, oh my God, that's such a blessed girl. Such a lucky girl. You have two centimeters. Guys, I have been in this intense pain from, <laughs> from 8, no, 8, from 5 p.m. 5 p.m. This was 11 p.m. And they said I was, I was two centimeters. I was so sad, but I was very thankful. Like, it's progressing. That means they will not wait me in for this year. They will just progress quietly. We were going 11, 12. I was begging them, please come and check me. You know how they say women don't allow them to check them. Don't put your hand on me. I said, come and check me. Please check me. Please check me. Put your hand, check. Let me know if I'm progressing properly. I want to just do this and get it over with. I was begging God. I said, God, I will go for Thanksgiving. I will save you for the rest of my life. Just see me through this. See? You see, I was face to face. Hi. I don't know if it's there with the devil or with God. I went far. I was so scared. I was so worried. Worried for my life. Worried for my baby. We might go through a lot. So bringing a child into this world. <sighs> two hours later i was just extra one cm dilated i would call my mom i would call my sisters i would pray i would cry i would beg them to pray to god for me my husband came out like baby i'm suffering i'm going through a lot i've gone through a lot i'm seeing things ha huh. oh god i didn't believe i was done going through all that i didn't believe that I was meant to have an easy delivery. Like it was meant to be easy. Because with where I was I was contracting, I was meant to be dilating fast and well. But there is no hard and fast rate about this thing. There is no easy way with this thing. There is no two deliveries that are the same. There's no two pregnancies that are the same. Mind you, in this pregnancy, I had seen pains. I had peed blood at some point. I had had um sugar level high. I had had protein in my urine. Like you couldn't now lose the baby, God forbid. 
hey god forbid i beg god i was like please help me Doctor came and the key. Just, just keep trying. If it doesn't work, we'll just do you CS. We'll just do you CS. My doctor was patient. It was just God sent to me. All the nurses that were there with me just got sent to me. They held my hands. They held my hands through this whole journey. I didn't know how I would have done it without them. Around 11, 12. Around 12, 1. It was like 3, 4 cm. I was still in intense pain. Imagine going this slow. But having contraction every three three minutes and it was lasting for 60 seconds yes that was how good my contraction was i cost my doctor i swore for my doctor i shouted on him i was just shouting on him doctor you're not doing anything they're not even helping me they were not helping me come and check me now they were checking me almost every 30 minutes please ma in case they're not supposed to check you like this because you're going to have infection i said check me like let me have infection i'll push this baby off hey okay, god Thank God I did not push <laughs> for my life. Thank God I did not push. I was going painful. My sisters were helping me. I was hungry, but I wasn't even remembering the hunger. I was just too tired. I was drinking water. I was just restless. I had bought this for that 1, 2 a.m., 3, 4. It was going by 5. I was on 7 c.m. No, 6. I was, still, I was on 6 a.m. for the longest time. And doctor walks in, Chelsea, you are not even progressing, you're still on 16. Then they are, they are, I think the, I don't know how, what I'll call them, I'm not a doctor, but his senior came and was like, check, let, let me see, let me see. She's having quick contract, but she's not dilating. I went to do her in for CS. If in the next, he said, if in the next one hour, she doesn't progress, we'll her in for CS. I heard him, I stayed crying. Because not that I don't feel that CS is the right thing, but I just, I was so, so, I was so sad. Thinking about it now, I was like, not that they were me this year and I lost my baby. Ha. Ah, because I've seen stories that people now lost their baby after going through all this stress. And hmm, I wouldn't have forgiven myself if that was my situation. Because, you know, honestly, I could have just said, take me in for CS. Because I have been in labor. I have been in labor. Hmm. And it was meant to be easy. My second pregnancy. So I walked in. I walk walk i wish i was lying down on that bed they didn't allow me to stand up unless i wanted to pee i was on that bed stuck on that bed for that number of hours because they had bro um, done my membrane sweep and um, removed my mucus plug and busted my water so there was no way <laughs> there was no way i was going allowed to come down from that bed so that's around that too they were telling me this and i just stayed praying i stay saying i called on mother and um, called on center i called on mother and i said please help me please help me the pain is so much the pain is so bad i'm trying i'm barely holding on i need you to help me i need you to help me by that i want i said please before the next my mother had already agreed okay do have this yes if you check and it's not going on just do have this yes by that one hour ah, when they came i was 17 yes i was 16 i was 17 he does and tells me enki you are such a lucky girl god loves you i started crying I was so thankful to God. And I'm like, I'm not such a prayerful person. But if my tribe, my whole group are praying, there's no how God was going to say no to us. Is it my sisters? Is it my mother? Is it my mother in law? Is it my brothers? Oh God, my husband, my friends, everybody, they were just praying and begging. I was so worried. I was so worried when I was progressing well. Then around around 8 a.m. Around 8 a.m. I had dilated to 9 centimeter. In the chair, you are 9 centimeter. Maybe in the next 30 minutes on hour, you'll be 10 centimeter. 
I told myself, you know, be strong. Just be strong. Just hold on. You can do this. Just you've you've tried for this long and you can do it. By the way, my my husband had gone to court. My, the, my, the doctor told him, just go to work, go to court. You say you have court, go to court, don't be here because you're even you're not even helping. He was not having it. He was he was everywhere. So he went to court. I was there. My sisters were coming, stay with me for a while, go out, stay with me, come in. They were helping me, like just they will call my sister, mom on the phone, my other sisters are not available on the phone to just check on me and all those things. All these things, they gave me nothing to help to hasten the labor because according to them, the baby's habit was already going up and down, so they didn't want to do anything that would also affect his habit. So I had to do this thing. The whole nine yards. The whole nine yards. At about, at about, let's say, um, 8.39, they came to check me. I was still 9 cm. I was still 9 cm. I was like, why am I still 9 cm? I stay shouting. Why am I still 9 cm? Why am I not dilating? And at that point, it's okay, they give me all the things they needed to give me. I don't know what they gave me injection, drip, all this. They gave me to hasten the labor to help me facilitate it, blah, blah, blah. 9, 9.20, nothing. 9.30, nothing. <laughs> I say it's a lie. It's not true. It's not me and you people. Come and bring this child out of here. Come and bring him out of here. Be fast, please. I want to pull them. Became intense. I wanted to pull. I want to pull. I want to pull. The stars, the baby coming. Please don't push. Please don't push. Imagine being pressed to pull and you are told to hold it in. Yet you are in pain. That was what I was doing. Pressed to pee. Pressed to pull. And I was holding it. Holding it straight. Like I was holding it. Bye. <laughs> Bye. By, I'm even shaking. By, by nine, by almost almost ten. By total, I was like, you know what? I can't do this anymore. Come, I can't do it anymore. So the doctor comes and he, she says, "This was a female that she says, okay, I'm going to take this labor. I'm going to have to help you and hold because there's just one, just one more CM and it's not going. So I'm going to help you. I'm going to raise the cervix up and then you push. A <laughs> wapo. They raise the cervix up." As the woman looked at she said, blood of Jesus. And I said, what? And she said, cord. I didn't grab. I was not even paying attention anymore. I said, cord. I, I, I said, I just want to push. I just want to push. It's okay. Push. I just, I just held the bed, opened my legs, and I pushed. As I was pushing, the reason it was already out. He said, wait, give me wait, hold on, don't push again, wait, stop. They said, if you push, it's going to tear you complete, just hold on. I held on, strong, holding the, I just said, bah. I felt the pain. I just said, bah, bah, he caught me, caught me. And he had already caught me a little bit, so he just caught me extra. And then told me, push. So I had to bear that pain, hold it, and hold him in. I had to hold him in. And I pushed. And I just pushed once. That's how miraculous God is for me. God is wonderful. I just pushed. As they just brought him out, look at his hand. This boy had taken the umbilical cord and tied his hands, tied himself round and round and round. We could have lost that boy. We could have lost that boy, but God is wonderful. He tied his hands, tied his hands. As they start trying to untie it, trying to untie, I was just seeing blood of Jesus. Thank you. This was already I gave that to him at exactly 10:05 a.m. on the 14th of February. <laughs> oh my God, he's so miraculous. He's so wonderful. He is a wonderful God. I was praying. I was thanking him. I was so grateful. No, my baby was there alive. He was just crying. This cry was just bringing me joy. My whole heart was not in vain. They took him to go and kill him. This boy was so tall, long. He was so long. <laughs> so long. They started treating him, cleaning him up, checking him. He was crying. I was praying for him. I was prophesying in his life. I was praying for the doctors. I was praying for my family. I was thanking everybody for seeing me through this. I was thanking God. I did it. Like, with the help of God, I did it. Hey, I had this boy. It was time for them to stitch me. See, they gave me nothing less than 10 stitches. Like, I didn't count, but at least 10 stitches.
stitches. Some of the stitches I was feeling that they were sewing me up. Nothing less than 10 stitches. He told me left side center. Close my urine. I don't know what they call it. He told me then. So the nurse goes, hey, Madam, during intercourse, do you come? I was like, Yes, I do come. <laughs> and she said, Okay, please come. She called the nurse. Hold this part for me. The nurse holds it. And they start stitching me. He, he caught me very close to that place. He caught me. They say, You will feel this now. They numbed me. I scream. And they start stitching me. They were stitching me left, right, center. They stitched me. And I had to do the catheter. Because if I had gone to pee on my own with that stitches, I'd be with those stitches, it would be between me and her fire. They put catheter for me. So I had to use catheter for 24 hours after delivery. I was bleeding. I wasn't bleeding on like I'm not usual normal bleed. I was bleeding. They cleaned me up. They put me down. They said I should calm down. This doctor just said, you know, bring in a local Z boot. She has been through a lot. I was like, yes. I don't look that look. Give me Fanta. <laughs> Give me Fanta. Old Fanta. And then to bring cold Fanta for me. I was telling God, is this how you are? You're such a miraculous God. You're such a wonderful God. You are a you are the Alpha and Omega. You are all and all. You are everything in one. As in because I couldn't have done that alone. So that's the first 24 hours of birth for me after delivery for me was crucial because at some at that point my BP was low. I didn't have high BP. Low BP. They said, I don't like your BP. I said, Madam, I don't like your BP. Your BP is low. I don't like your BP. I don't like your BP. It's no, it's low. It's low. You know, sharp, sharp, fast, fast, the blood drip. And put for me. Thank God that they do all these checks because if they didn't do that check, they wouldn't have known my BP was low and maybe I would have died. Your BP is low. Give her bring drip, bring drip, they put the drip and they fast track the drip, let the drip enter fast. So even after I had given birth and it was time for me to leave the um, labor ward to go to my room, they I didn't allow me to leave because they were like, they need to monitor me. They monitored me from that time. I left that monitoring monitoring room around, I think it was around 34. Around 34. After I get bed by 10, they're monitoring me, checking my BP. I had low BP, but they're monitoring it, checking it. And around 4, they wheeled me out to my ward. I was there, my friends visited, my sisters were there, my husband was there. He was so tired. In fact, he was in court and they told me that I had given birth. So he was like, I'm giving birth, and he rushed back. So my baby, my baby was so beautiful. He's such a beautiful boy. He's such a beautiful boy. And his name is Kachim Sidde. Kian Francis Arinze. Kachim Side Kian Francis Kola Wole Arinze. That's his Yoruba name. Kachim Side was born on 14th of February 2024. He weighed 3.6 kg. Yes, 3.6 kg. Was a very tall baby. Very tall baby. A very beautiful boy. He cried at bed. He was joyous. He was beautiful. And he's five months. In a week's time, he'll be five months. He's such a delightful baby. And I'm grateful to God for the blessing of Kachim Side, Casey for short, Kachi for short. He loves him, he's loved, he's blessed. His brother adores him, his father adores him. I adore him. I love him so much. So this is my birth story. This is the story of how it went. If you have watched up to this point of the video i am grateful to you you are the real mvp thank you so much like this video share this video comment on this video and subscribe to my channel please i beg you thank you so much for sticking by me and always supporting me i appreciate you guys instead of enjoy <laughs> i'm such a cry baby please like this video please share it i really appreciate you guys i love you all and i'll see you guys in my next video stay tuned to see catching today Hello. Uh -uh. Hey, but we don't talk anymore.